Yeah, we can play around with the skyrocket here. Certainly in the earlier levels, I guess it can just, just help to progress faster. Oh, we have to go inside the camp, don't we? It is at the end of camp here, isn't it? Turret on the field. Get the turret going here. So now we have the uh, new skills. Fire rate boost. So you've boosted fire rate once you kill an enemy. Let's see if I can notice this boosted fire rate. Yeah, I think I can. Certainly can notice the uh, having to reload more, which may be a problem. Buzzards. What do we have for buzzards? We have two skins here we already have. Well, the Maggie might be okay for buzzards. Let's sort by type. So the Maggie might be all right, all right for the buzzards here. We can continue with the SMG. Actually, let's go ahead and put the Maggie in position one. Feels a bit more natural this way. Skyrocket works for the buzzards, I suppose. I guess because it loops up at the buzzards. Still one more ground-based enemy here. There, stuck on the map. Oh, it's still alive. I thought I destroyed it. Unless two got stuck there. No, it's probably still the same one. that Goliath's helmet off. Let's get some use out of this SMG ammo. We have this faster fire rate skill. We need to probably pay a bit more attention to looting around for ammo. Actually, a sniper would be quite useful here. 
I keep forgetting about this Nova. So the fire rate bonus is not so useful with the sniper I suppose. But it's certainly handy for the marauders to use a sniper. Because they do like to take cover and stay back and stay still behind cover. So they're a nice enemy type to use a sniper. We do need some experience points anyway, so it's not not a terrible idea if we clear out some of these enemies. Yeah, the sniper is a good option for these marauders. Just because they're so keen on staying still. I think a corrosive barrel exploded next to me there. Wait for this marauder to stop moving. They're quite happy just to stay in one spot there. I'm just going to stay behind that uh, support. This Maggie's tur turning out well for these buzzards. Got that shotgun style bullet spread to it. Now there is some loot chests in this area, there's at least one over here, and I think another one in the corner on this side of the map as well. So we got class mods here, a couple of zero ones. Expert veteran, reload speed, magazine size, that seems useful. Reload speed and magazine size, I think I'm going to upgrade to this one. Plus two to steady. Which skill was steady? Oh, this one. So we're not using steady, but uh, I think the reload speed and uh, magazine size are still very useful. Particularly if you're boosting fire rate as well. Steady is strong. Does seem handy. Those are two things that I do, do enjoy is the uh, reload speed at a uh, magazine size and a uh, fire rate so having having those is certainly useful I do appreciate those too So these Goliaths are going to fight each other here. Who's that going on me now? I just feel bad when you get anecdotal advice from newer players. Yes, I do. I, I do in, uh, certainly do appreciate the uh, getting advice from people. 
was that noise? It sounded but yeah, like it can be can be tricky to know what is actually good is advice or not sure in the did, end brother. if you're not if you're you not that experienced with the game. Mavis, no. For instance, that you six percent stat from Impact. I actually cool. measured that. Oh, so you went out and measured that yourself. Yeah, if I, I guess once you start using things like the B shield, the, the difference between additive and multiplicative becomes more important. So yeah, so this one's really not that great. So that's certainly good to know not to not to bother with that particular one. Also, sometimes they're not it's not quite clear which which uh, skills are additive and which ones are not. It's good to know how those things work. So it does does makes other options much more attractive when you realize that the that your other the other ones are additive I think there is still one more chest above I'll get these lockers anyway we'll leave that other chest this game is a bulk Bowl, 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 bowl of spaghetti. The more testing we do, the better. I keep notes on my phone for stuff I measure, but don't want to memorize. Yeah, that's a good idea. And that's also good that you're actually uh, figuring this stuff out yourself rather than just uh, looking everything up on the internet. Certainly respect people that actually, actually uh, figure this stuff out through the game themselves. Now, there, where is that other chest? I think there's one at the end of end of that platform. So, did you test that out on the uh, on the practice dummy at Marcus's uh, shop? None of these are all that interesting. Yeah, test there when possible. Kill stuff. Kill skill stuff. Oh, you have to set up elsewhere. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I guess you can't kill you can't kill stuff in that area okay so next bit is in the friendship gulag I'll need a car for that So the Friendship Gulag is again mostly high, that's a Hyperion area with the loaders and engineers. So very similar to Opportunity in that way. You got the loaders and engineers there.
So we will have a shop up ahead. We can sell off our junk. I've collected a bit of junk here. I was struggling with money a little bit earlier on, so it might be worth getting into the habit of selling some stuff. Today I learned that Bloodbath does not boost the damage from Buzzax Bombardier, even though it does boost rocket damage. And the card on the loot, Lemon, says Bombardier Dynamite is physical rocket damage. So Bloodbath does not boost the damage from Buzzax Bombardier, even though it does boost rocket damage. Yeah, there is a lot of a lot of different interactions. Ah, yes, Krieg stuff. So you can get lots of crazy combinations there with Krieg. We have tricked the game into not having to do the church standoff sequence. By the way, oh, this. Uh, Standoff. Is that by going next to the, the doorway there of the church? Let's get rid of this triquetra here. I've got a bunch of SMGs. Slag. We'll keep the slag SMG just so we have some sort of a slag weapon. That one's for spawning ghetto only. Right. No, I don't remember the other one. And the other day, I learned that Protection Relics only give you 42% of their card bonus. If it says 10% shield capacity increase, you'll get 4.2. Oh. Wonder why, why is that? 42% of their card bonus. Let's sell this stuff off. Now, do we need a shield upgrade here? Oh, that's a larger capacity. It's got a nice recharge delay, actually, for a turtle shield. I might actually go for that. that ought to keep your insides inside. Auto gunner, class mod, fire rate. A snapping turtle. Well, if I know, but I tested it with multiple grenades and multiple levels of the relic. No skills, calm, a bar. Obviously. Yeah, that is really weird. So, it's a, yeah, so the uh, item card can be deceptive in a lot of ways. After uncovering the hidden treasure in the grave, you can run away from that spot so that the church instantly starts playing the bell sound, right. So after you uncover the treasure, then run away. Okay, I'll try, I'll try that out. I think the snapping turtle shield's actually a little bit better. It's level 21 as well. Yeah, it is better. Now, can I afford this one? Yes. So that was interesting. The uh, item, the regular items, actually was actually better than the item of the day one. That was a bit weird. Homing Tesla. Let's check our loadout here. Sniper's probably not ideal. Sort by type. We've got the Torg Assault Rifle. And the shotgun, which was quite interesting, this Pounder. Let's go with this Torg Assault Rifle. Off the 
bat there. I was not paying attention to that loader. Let's reload this launcher. What is this, an RPG loader? No, just a badass loader. I wasn't expecting a rocket log volley like that. And a surveyor. Maggie does a good job with the surveyors with that shotgun style bullet spread. Level up. So let's continue down this way. Willing improves shield recharge rate and delay. They are throwing those grenades from a long way away. surveyors in this area. Keep my ammo up here. Yeah, you can, you can notice the fire rate boost for sure. It is very nice when that fire rate boost kicks in. Particularly with the slower, slower firing weapons, you really notice it more then. There's another surveyor zooming around. trick with the necrophages are oh, in the spot of infinite spawns. Also oh, it's probably worth just to keep moving. No I don't know the trick with the necrophages. I was wondering about those. What the deal was with those. See if I can heal up a bit here. It's not infinite, just a whole lot, right. Maybe just to be a bit be a bit more patient to clear them out. Oh, 
If you shoot the bubble, it homes in on enemies. Enemies shoots the bubble, it homes in on you. Oh, I see. Ah. Yeah, I was wondering what the deal was with those. Oh, thank you for that raid source. I was not aware that's how they worked. Surveyors here. Yeah, that fire rate boost is very nice. I thought there might be some ammo boxes back here, but no. Nothing. Keep up my ammo here. Grenadier class mod, white one. So there was a ton of enemies spawning there. Got uh, was a victim of that uh, skyrocket reflection. Bounced off that uh, exploding loader. Exploding loader got me there. Nothing much to shoot there. Sky Rocket would never do that. of ammo boxes open from the previous time. I will make use of my grenades all I can. Yeah, if you can keep the chain of enemies, keep the ch chaining those enemy kills together, you can would be quite quite effective with the Axton with all of those kill skills. I 
starting to see the light with Axton. Yeah. Yeah. And and with the with the movement speed bonus and stuff as well. It certainly it's, it does make a big difference. We have a lot of enemies around. Actually press the wrong button there. Got hit with that skyrocket again. Didn't mean to throw the skyrocket that time. Just hit the wrong button. class mod there. Probably holding on to a bunch of junk I can sell. But I can shoot off those necrophages. some enemies in the corner that haven't I haven't spawned in yet yeah that's very nice that fire rate bonus That was nice. I got the got the kill just before the uh, badass loader walked around the corner. So I was able to use that uh, fire rate bonus on him. I'll save my grenades for the larger enemies. I think we have a constructor coming up here. Snyder, Flame Snyder, another route. You'll break us out of here if I tell you, right, Mobley? Of course. I'm your pal, Carson. Now where's that chest? The flats, buried under a grave. So when do we bust out of here? Carson's dead. So now we're up to the spot where What's we find the, the stash. There? No enemies respawning on the way back. So we have cleared everything out here. So yeah, for this part of the map, it's probably... You either have to race all the way through as fast as you can to that area first. 0.6 second fuse time there for that lobbed Tesla. Homing slag singularity. Not great for a singularity grenade, a homing one. Veteran class mod. So that's uh, better than 22 and 23. Not using last ditch effort. But I guess it is a little bit better if I can afford it. We need 6,000. Race through and hunt down every single red dot. Oh yeah, do do both. Yes, I guess with Axton you can, if you once you once you start chaining those kills together. 
once you get into the habit of doing that. I forgot about this pounder as well, that might have been useful. Keep that sniper as well, that flame one. Resolute veteran. What am I currently using? Expert veteran. So the resolute veteran is a bit lower. So let's sell that off. See if I've got enough to buy the other one. The other class mod. No, I don't have enough anyway. So now we're up to the Gettle Mobley bit. And we did exit from that other map, so we will be able to respawn up there if we wanted to farm straight away from here. So we can make use of the sky rocket here for this farming, get some XP here as well. Nothing interesting with those pistols. So dig up the dig it up and run away. So this one? Too slow. Might have been too slow running away. Let's see what weapons we have here. Maggie would be useful. Maybe a sniper. I'm going to try this one out. Okay, so there's the bill. Okay, so that gets rid of him pretty quick with the turret. With the turret and the grenade. So what do we have in here anyway? Okay, so get another Moxie's endowment there. Torg Stalker. Oh, I've got a Loyuda right off the bat. Shock Loyuda. Very nice. Got a Loyuda first try there. And a Vladov Slag Sniper. So, there's your bunker killer. Yes, we got the Lauda. First time, first try. Stream of luck, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I wasn't aware that the Lauda was a good weapon for bunker. So we are level, what level are we? We're level 22. What level is a story mission? 24, so I guess we can farm here a little bit for some XP.
Definitely the skyrocket makes it much quicker. Much quicker to do that fight. My thoughts exactly. Yes, a streamer luck. Oops, going the wrong way. So I guess this is a pretty good XP farm because you are killing two of these bosses at the same time. Okay, so this, I don't, you're probably better off spawning both of them. You want the XP for both of them. Yeah, I have been pretty lucky with it, actually. Got a Baruch as well. I can sell it, if nothing else. Obligatory beware of that bouncing skyrocket off the ground like that. Yeah, I wasn't trying to... doesn't always bounce. Right. So you can actually blow yourself up with it. Oh, we got quite a bit of experience points for that, actually. So it won't take too long to get some levels this way. Maggie still doing work? I think it's level 17. Class mods. Efficient tactician. still run towards each other. Oops, wrong button. That's dangerous when they run towards you right when you throw a skyrocket. Jacob's coach gun. Can I bask in the light of your loader real quick? Sure. Probably should equip the thing now that I have it. Is 
Zamachat loader. Level 19, yeah, it's a level 19 one. We can try to get a, a better one. Huh. We can keep going a little bit longer, try to get a few more levels, a couple more levels. Up to 24. So we, who knows, if we're lucky, maybe we can pick up another another Lyuda while we're getting some experience points here. Still need to get the hang of throwing these uh, sky rockets. Gets a perfect corrosive version in three runs. Yeah, I guess corrosion was was the the uh, ideal one for for bunker resistance relic. What relic am I even using? Still using the uh, original one, so probably a lot of these, will, any of these will be better than what I'm using. Probably incendiary resistance protection. Let's just. Oh, I guess we consider considering we're farming, we'll keep the. Uh, Keep the Vault Hunter's Relic on. Just wait till they get close enough to use the rocket. Ugh. That is scary how it bounces off like that. Rocket, because there's a corrosive rocketeer. Another Baruch. I got excited for a second there when I saw a corrosive weapon. But not quite what we wanted. That's not a bad Baruch, is it? Let's have a look. Don't know much about the Baruchs. I don't, uh, don't use them all that much. So we've got two here. Level 19 and level 22. I guess we want to keep the level 22. Sure, it sucks because it's a Varuk, but normal mode. So it still might be useful for normal mode. It'll surely do for the way up to Bunker. Yeah, it might be useful to have some different assault rifles. I just have the Torg assault rifle that I'm using at the moment. So maybe the Varuk is worth holding on to. Skyrocket is powerful, so long as you can position it in the right spot. Surprising how often it just bounces off the enemies too. So you don't have to, you, not only do you have to worry about it bouncing off of the map, but also bouncing off of the enemies moving around. The other one's not spawning, I guess I didn't in the right position for it. There we go. Turn it out. Torg pistol.
It's got that fixed horizontal spread, so better suited for loaders and broad enemies at medium range. Yeah, that's true. It's, it does have that horizontal spread, like a kind of like a sandhawk. I suppose useful for like a group of enemies if you shoot it into a closely packed group of enemies shields symmetrical turtle shield We have two grenades left we can use. So nothing that time. Does make for a nice quick farm if you can position that skyrocket in between the both of them. We can get some use out of our new loader too. So I can use that instead of the Maggie if I want to. Oh yeah, right. You can run to the left side of the church. There's a waste bin. Jump on that and wait for Gettle to run behind the rock. Jump through the sky rocket. GG. Okay, so if you run left side of the church, why spin? Okay, that, that does spawn them in. Oops. Oh, there you go. That is a neat way to do it, isn't it? That sky rocket has a really large range on it too. Oh, thanks for that squeaky. That does speed things up a little bit. Get a nice angle and so get some height as well, which is nice with the sky rocket to have some extra height. So you're throwing down with the sky rocket. Oh, we got another level too. Oh, well, that's level 23. So the story mission was level 24. So we might as well keep going a little bit more. It does open up a whole bunch of more possibilities using the skyrocket for stuff certainly you can put the placebo xp rec relic on too oh yes do i i don't think i'm not sure if i have that one with oh yes we do we got this one 4.9 percent that's a good idea i forgot i still had that one our oh, bonus 4.9 XP. So 
Torque rocket torpedo. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I want to do the same trick over this side. off the turret but we still got them got a huge range that skyrocket front door works too just don't shoot your don't shoot poor mobily right oops not quit okay so you can just walk in front of the front door as well I was just about to type in before he bounces a skyrocket off the turret and kills himself. Yeah. Yes, that's right. It, all, it almost happened. It bounced off the turret, but luckily it didn't come straight back at me. Honestly, turret is just worse here, because if they aggro on it, they'll come to you and the skyrocket will miss. Yeah. Yep. So be best to throw, throw the skyrocket first. Just keep the area clear. Yeah, I was thinking about whether the uh, turret, whether they would aggro on the turret in that situation. Something green, melee and pistol. So it just goes to show we did get lucky getting that Lauda right off the bat. We haven't found any others. We haven't struggled too much with the grenade ammo. So we've been, I guess, getting good luck with the ammo boxes here, refilling our grenades. So it definitely does speed things up using the skyrocket, particularly for farming stuff. Keep forgetting to go the go to the left side. I didn't even think about coming this way. Something yellow here. Another Varuk, level 21. So we've been more lucky with the Varuks than the uh, Lyudas. I assume they have the same drop rate, the Varuk and Lyuda. So I still have that, uh, still have this lovely shock Lyudu I can use too. They do, but any Borderlands 2 player will swear Lyudu is more rare. Yeah, that's right. So that's, that's the one they're trying to get.
So I guess with farming, it's kind of similar to uh, gambling. You, you can sort of build up a bunch of uh, superstitions about certain things. My record's one slag loader and eight Baruchs before the next loader. That certain, certainly is a ton, ton more Baruchs. Eight. Dude, loader does not exist. Whoops, going too far. Nothing on that side or this side. We do get another grenade out of it though. Let's just check here for some more grenades. Oh we got some got some iridium there. Yeah, I seem could just be um I'm biased, but I seem to remember getting more more Varuks and Lyudas as well. But it's probably be just because I'm focusing more on the uh, Lyudas. to go the left hand side yeah this definitely definitely makes the farm easier going to the left hand side using the uh, skyrocket oh, they're just standing there they're not engaging I don't want to fight Maybe this will get him to move. Oh, something yellow here. Certainly getting a ton of Baruchs. Homing Singularity, so not that useful for a Singularity grenade. A homing one. Jet farm for two hours. Yeah, I think I've. Yeah, that's unlucky. I don't think I've ever had that bad luck having to farm for two hours for a loader. So I certainly did get good, good luck getting one first try. Huh. Albeit a lower level one. Okay, but how many times in that two hours did you miss the technical jump and have to drive an extra lap? Huh. So at least they're engaging this time. Face time. I use the wall path too. Okay, so you can get up there with the car instead of uh, jumping up there. 
Fuck the car. Oh, I didn't know you could jump the car up there. So if you go up here, you can jump jump the car up here. Yeah, you boost the barrel technical through the dust bowl and up the shortest part of the rock wall. Somewhere here. To the right of where you are. I was there. Maybe further back, the shortest part. Oh, too much to the right. Okay, so I'm looking for the shortest part. On this bit here. Anyway, I can play around with that later on. No, way more to the right. Okay. So, let's see. On oh, this bit there. This bit. So basically it's like one car width to the right of where you park. Oh I see, so way over here, right. So one car width away. Look at these technicals. So on this side. Yeah, so to the right of the cactus. Oh, on this. Oh, to the right of the cactus, so way up here. So do you hit it from the same angle, from like this angle? I might have to look at maybe look at a video on how to do that one. See how to do it on a video. But yeah, that's interesting. Didn't know you could use the car. But basically, you aim the car exactly for your back bumper of where you just parked. All right, well, let's go and have a look. Oh, I see, right. They're coming off. So you're coming for like from this kind of angle. And coming up this way. Okay. They're really close, actually. I'm oh, not along the path. I straight up the wall. Okay, so, so yeah, so like perpendicular to the uh, the cliff face. Okay, so I've got an idea then. I'll try it next time. Got an idea where to go. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's a bit slow. Oh, the...
barrel technically only by the way oh, so it only works with that one car so nothing there this trash pole seems to drop a good amount of ammo let's just turn off offline make things a bit faster Okay, I'll try again. So bandit technical only. Okay, let me just find the spot here there's the cactus so we're going about there oh it has to be the barrel technical oh okay I didn't know there was a difference in uh, speed so the different weapons have different speeds Different weapons gives different speeds to the vehicles. Ah, more right. See where the sand makes an upside down V. Oh, I see. So more like here. That spot. But it has to be the barrel. Oh, even more right than there. No, oh, I'm getting killed here. Out of ammo for the launcher. Here, on this or this rock. Okay, it has to be the barrel. Well, on this bit here. Okay, once I get the barrel, the barrel version, I'll try it out. Yes, yeah, so it's a weird, that's just a weird little quirk where you have to use the barrel version of the car. Don't aim for the low V of the rock, aim for the upside down V of the sand. Right, up to the right hand side. Yep, the upside, upside down V of the sand. Engaging at least. I think I saw another Varuk fly off. Level 21 slag. So, certainly in my experience, I'm getting a ton more Varuks than uh, Lyudas here. There we go, got another grenade. Let's see if we can make this jump. So it has to be a barrel. You need to be fully boosting by the time you hit the wall, right. So 
to like here. Don't know how much of a lead up we need. Ah, okay. There we go. Which is down this way. Okay, so let's take it up there. Thank you, Raid Sourced. It's a one life thing because you can absolutely get punked on the footpath. Yeah, those uh, enemy vehicles can can easily run you over. Once you practice, it's just as fast. Yep. There we go, we got up to level 24. Homing Tesla, unfortunately a homing one. So I want to try one more time, see if I can get this, get this car jump again. And once you get really good, you can bring the car to the fight with you and never die. So yeah, that would be nice for one life if you can just uh, drive the car straight there be protected by the car. spot so it's right there and you can drive the car straight in there off the cliff. Trigger the spawn. Yeah, that is a fast way to do, isn't it? Just drive the car straight up there. Homing dart, shock homing dart. Not sure if that's useful or not. Maybe I'll pick that one up. Oh, we've got a ton of, look at all these Varooks we've got. I'll hold on to these just to sell them for some money. We can drop some of this other stuff though. We probably don't need this Kelopene anymore. Probably don't need this Snyder either. I've got a slag loader. All right, so that's how you can drive the car in. Thanks for that raid source. Had no idea you could get the car and get the car up here. Ben's first car gettle, that's right. And I got a slag loader out of it. Good. So we can switch back to the uh, story missions now. We're level 24.
let's just go and sell sell this big pile of Varuks that we have. We can keep keep the best one, sell off the rest. Let's see what we have. Level 22. We don't need the slag ones. We've got a couple of slag ones. Level 21. I guess we'll just keep this level 22. That seems to be a good one. Yeah, that does seem to be much better than level 22 with the magazine size there and damage. Right, let's go through this stuff, see what we can sell off. So we have a snapping turtle shield. Level 21. Let's go for that. Sell off the other ones. And what other weapons can we get rid of? We don't really need this Maliwan slag pistol anymore. Maybe keep this dart just for fun. Corrosive Rocketeer will keep that one and the pistol. We don't really need a Torg pistol. Short by type. Oh, that's the uh, the quest one. Get rid of that one. We can actually use this uh, Street Sweeper now if it's useful. Let's sell off all of that stuff. That should get us quite a bit of money. So we had six and a half thousand. So now we're at 36,000 selling all of those Varuks. Longbow Acid Move. Lob Singularity. I've been keeping an eye on the Singularity Grenades, trying to find one with a decent fuse time. I haven't found one yet. Well, that was good. We got a couple levels there, and we got a uh, got a Varuk and a couple of Lyudas. So we definitely did get a ton more Varuks and Lyudas there in that particular instance. So before we before we continue with the story missions, I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. 